Hey guys, it's a little stormy out. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get done, if I'm gonna get everything done or not, I don't know. But I gotta do my yard and my neighbor Carolyn's yard. But today, we're gonna edge these yards using this Ryobi four cycle um, power head, split shaft, it's a combi unit, and it's got the edger attachment with one of those types of blades on it. Um, never used this before, never used that blade before. And this isn't a review, this is a test. This is my uh, father-in-law, his former father-in-law, but I still just call him my father-in-law. Um, this is his unit. Um, many, many years ago, we used to work together. He's a school teacher, and he still mows lawns um, in his 50s. He goes out and mows lawns. So um, whenever he has issues with his equipment, he has a normal mechanic. Uh, but this last weekend, I was over there with the boys visiting, and he asked me, you know, hey, who do you have to work on your equipment when things go wrong? And I was like, uh, me. <laughs> so he was like, okay, well, I got an edger that I can't get running. I can't keep it running. I can't start it. And I, he was like, you know, is there, can you help me out? What do you think? And I was like, yeah, let me look at it. I brought it home. What it ended up being was the starter bulb, the, the primer bulb. So this had a small hairline crack. And when you have a hairline crack in these starter bulb, in these um, primer bulbs, then it lets air get into the carburetor. And instead of fuel going in, air is going in. Um, and you can't prime it. So I swapped that out for $2.21. I got a generic one from Andy's. Uh, don't know if it's the same one that a steel has or not. I don't know. I just said, hey, I got uh, a Ryobi four cycle um, power head. I need a primer bulb. What do you got? Generic off the back of the shelf there. She had two sizes. I said, give me one of each. So it ended up being a small one. Um, and then I just kind of shot the outside of the carburetor down with a little cleaner, just a little bit and then went ahead and adjusted the idle screw. It doesn't have like that air fuel mix thing, like high, low and all that crap that I see. I don't see that, because this is a four cycle. So, uh, but it does have a, a idle screw and the idle screw was like way up. So I did turn that down. So we are having a little bit of issues with that. And I notice right now, I believe the carburetor is loose a little bit. So I'm gonna take the air cleaner cover off right here and there's two bolts right here. I'm going to tighten these bolts down a little bit just to make sure that we don't, we're not sucking air in. Um, that will also cause bad idle problems and stuff like that. So let me tighten these up real quick and we'll be back. We're going to edge my yard and Carolyn's yard on video using this curve shaft four cycle Ryobi edger. Okay, so actually what I'm finding is it's not the carburetor that was loose. It's actually the mount under the carburetor. So I'm going to try to just get this out of the way to get to these screws back here. Right here. And then there's one on the front side. Let me tighten those up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Power on. Primer bulb. Choke. There we go. since he used this so we gotta get this carburetor kind of get de gummed a little bit make sure some good clean gas that's running it let's go to work
This feels weird. does a good job though, I'll tell you what, it's a good blade. Nice thick edge. Okay, I mean, I don't want to be rude, and it, it's nothing against, it's, I'm not used to this shield. This is dragging, this is dragging, I mean, look at the blade, it's, the blade takes up the whole shield, so it's not like it's an old blade, but the shield is just so in the way. It's not the wheel, it's the shield. Either this is dragging the front, or this is dragging the bottom, and this is touching the grass too much, and I can't, I can't. This is going to go back in the garage. I'm glad I fixed it for him, and I'm glad it works, but this is going to go back in the garage. Again, I'm not, I'm not knocking Ryobi. I mean, I'm just not used to it. I'm sure in time I get used to that, and I'd run it just as fast as this, but we got storms coming, and it was fun while it lasted. It's not you, it's me. I got to go.
So you know the shoemaker's kid is always barefoot because the shoemaker's so good at what he does. He's got to fill orders. <laughs> Look at my yard, man. My yard looks like shit. It's getting overrun with crabgrass. It's, it's stressed to the max because of no rain and then rain and then no rain. And I just don't have time to mess with it, man. I did my bushes a little bit, blew them in, mulched it up. I did my side yard and I did the backyard way in the back. So we're gonna go ahead. I, I trimmed the bushes you saw. I blew the stuff out. I'll let you guys go ahead and watch me mow this yard. We'll tighten it up on the weed eater and pack it in for the weekend. I just don't have time to take care of my property. I did that one yesterday, a week late, because they're having a party tomorrow. So they asked if I can go an extra week. Man, in the middle of July, an extra week, but I did, um, and it's done. But let's go ahead and get this yard cut so I can get on with my weekend.
Ooh, all right, we're done. I don't have a towel to wipe my face, so sorry. Um, I probably need more like a plastic surgeon anyways, but that's all right. Yards are done. Let me just pick up the couple of pieces here, but yeah, this don't look bad. They look good cut, but the quality of the actual turf sucks. It's pretty rough, man. I wanted to try to stay on top of it, but it's too busy, man, but that's all right. I mean, I don't care. I'm not that anal. As long as my customers are happy with their yards and we stay on top of their yards, then I'm happy. So that's all that really matters. They look good. Uh, so we're out of here. We're done. Um, so let me give you guys a great big thank you for another awesome side hustle week and a week of videos uh, Going up you guys are really doing great with my channel. It's it's doing really well, man We're we're definitely a, a popular channel on YouTube and uh, I couldn't do that without you guys So really thank you guys very much for that. I could not begin to explain to you What you guys have been to me for the past three years? I, I couldn't uh, words really it's one day I'm gonna have to explain it to you guys, but if it wasn't for you and YouTube and your comments uh, I don't know where I'd be today honest to God uh, And I'll explain that to you guys later on down the road uh, But for right now, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Tell me about the whistle, the whistle.